right, let's walk around this car a little bit. It sure is pretty, but it's not perfect. Peace stress marks. Kind of a scratch thing under there that should be touched up. Got a little bit of cracking here. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, let's see, otherwise pretty good. Around here, a little crack down there in the bumper, pretty minor. Did you see that? Looks good around the back. Had a little bit of touch-up paint right in this area. It's really kind of hard to see. And got a little bit of a cracking in the paint up here. I don't know if you can see that either. So, I mean, it's not a perfect paint job and it's not brand new. So it's got a few little kind of flaws in it, but overall it's a great looking car. And I got one right there too. So there you go. There's probably a few more that I missed, but those were the kind of the ones I wanted you to see. And uh, that's actually a really highly functional car. It starts, runs, drives great. We do have the original wheels for this car. So if you don't like these or the, if the offset's a little too much for you, um, we have them. You can see the interior is all uh, in nice shape. You go through all the photos. So that's really comfortable to get in. The power seats are all in working order. And the car's been running about an hour. We're probably in the mid 70s today now. I'm sort of guessing it's pretty warm out. It's a little cloudy, but it's a little muggy and warm. It just seems to be cruising right around, uh, that's probably around 200 degrees. I'm guessing it's got a 220 uh, thermostat in it. It's just been sitting here idling and the electric fan is thermostatically controlled. It hooks on, you know, when it needs to. Door locks work. The, uh, the mirror switch is working on the driver's side, but it doesn't seem to be moving the uh, passenger side. We'll certainly take a look at it, but don't, you know, unless I say otherwise, just expect it without one working. Um, and if we can fix it, we will. All of the gauges are in working order. Even the clock's working. 80,232 miles. And uh, anyway, you can see all the gauges are working here. Then the, uh, it's got a nice stereo, an Alpine, which has a, uh, uh, a USB as well as a uh, eighth inch audio output. There's also a uh, iPod cord that comes out of the center console that you can use. And it's got Bluetooth, so it's got the mic up there for that. The uh, air conditioning's blowing ice cold. So I'm gonna turn that on max, crank it up. And I did notice that we're getting very little air out of that vent. We're getting tons of air out of this vent. We're not getting any air out of that vent. And that one came a little dislodged, but that one, we'll see if we can get that vent holder back in there. It's a little loose. There we go. That one's coming out cold too. So we just got this center one for some reason isn't blowing any air out. And this one's just very, very minimal. So still cools the car off. So that all feels good. The wipers are in working order. You can see uh, the uh, tilt steering here, the lights all work. The blinkers are working. You can see the indicator there on the left. There's the right. The, uh, the horn. The power top is working no problems. And the uh, power windows are all working. So there you go. I do want to point out, and I'm not, I, I think this might be, uh, this might not be too hard to get. But this is the uh, Pernin Vid, the indicator which tells you what uh, gear you're in. And uh, it's just gone. We can't find it. If we do, we'll find it and we'll include it with the car. But uh, it's pretty easy to figure out what gear you're in. All right, so we'll take this thing for a little cruise. I'm gonna turn the air off so you can hear the motor a little better. The car is just super powerful, so it drives great. Brakes are super uh, responsive. The uh, tires, as you can see from the photos, the Michelins are essentially new. And the car has no smoke, no funny noises. Just really great running. The steering, the power steering is easy peasy and the power brakes. And the car handles really nicely. See them on this little road. It's very responsive. Suspension feels good too. So there you have it. This is my, uh, this was my friend's car he loved. Trying to find it a good home, somebody else to love it.
the way, as you can tell, great shifting. And we just shot up to a little over 50 miles an hour real quick. I gotta slow it down now. I'm slowing down because we're in a residential area. But uh, it's a hoot to drive. Anyway, if you got any other questions or uh, wanna check it out or give me a call or chat, I'm Don, I'm the owner of Left Coast Classics. We've been around about 12 years now here in 2016 and sold cars all over the world. So if you have any questions about anything, you can call me. All right, thanks.